Hi, welcome to a2zknowledge.com. So in this video today, we are going to discuss about uh, how to connect uh, Python with Google Map. So I'm the, the agenda is I'm going to give a location in my Python code and then the respective locations map should be converted as an image and that needs to be get stored in my disk. So the requirement is I, I get a requirement that I need to get all the locations map as an image. So I can do manually, go to Google map and then I type my location, take a snapshot tool, cut the map and then you can save it as image, but that is manual work. But I can do that in Python. I can give a list of locations and automatically the image will be get derived from the Google. So now I'm going to show you how to do that. So import request because we are going to deal with URL. So you need this request uh, uh, package and then API key. So uh, here we are going to connect with the Google Cloud Platform, right? So all what uh, Google provides so many services like map service for the developers and then AdSense, AdWords. So all these services can be interacted through some programming language. We call it as an API and then uh, it's for developers, right? So you have to create an account in Google Cloud and then you have to create an API key which is used like a security key for you to interact with all the Google services. So I have made a separate video how to create an account in Google Cloud and how to interact with it. So I just don't want to mix these two to so the video will be very um, big. So I don't want to do that. So I, I have given that uh, videos a link in the description box of this video. So where you can you can see how I created an account and then how to create an API and whatever the service that you use with any programming language, you have to enable that service. So here we are going to use a service called Google static map. OK, so this static map services needs to be get enabled before you run this code okay so and then comes the url so static map what do you mean by static map so static map is all about um, you cannot give any uh, sub locations for example um, i cannot give I can give a city name or a town name, but I cannot give a, a, a kind of an hotel names or I cannot give an um, kind of an famous a beach name or a particular uh, building name. So something like that, a places. Okay, simply I can say places. I cannot give the places name, but I can able to give the town or district or the city name. Okay, so that is what static map. So there is something called place a map where you can give all the, the complete address also. You will get the exact locations about of the building or or whatever the restaurant or whatever it is so here um, it's going to be the static map and this url is also static so after this url we are going to pass so many things that comes down here and then the location which i'm getting an argument in runtime i'm going to type it asks for enter location i'm, I'm going to type my location and then uh, i'm passing that to an, a string called current and then zoom equal to 10 so the, it's like you used to do a zoom in your map right so so zoom in zoom out so the same concept and r equal to request dot get and then url and whatever the location is and then the zoom parameter you are converting that to string because it's an url but, but the native type is integer right and then the size okay this is not parameterized but still you need to parameterize the size also you can do so what size the image has to be gets stored right and then the api key this is very important so when you when you approach these google services via uh, languages then you need this api key so you can ask me directly when we go to google map we are not giving any api key but when you do that with api you have to do that so as i told you already i can give you a separate video for that uh, you can get that in the description box and one important thing is you can able to create an api key uh, so okay google cloud provides an uh, and an, a free service worth of 300 dollars for you for the current date um, so the thing is even without availing that free offer you can still able to create an account in google cloud and you can able to create your api but with this api key you can able to send only one request to the site map okay the next request won't work so that makes us to avail that offer in google cloud so which is around 300 dollars they give free for us and then you can use it until the the uh, credit gets over you can you can use that so uh, as i told you i can give you an uh, an demo in the upcoming videos and you can find the video link in the description box of this video like how to create a google cloud account and then how to enable the services uh, that which you are going to interact with it so i'm going to interact with sitemap so i have to first enable the service then i have to create an api key and i have to pass it here okay 
now I'm printing this URL whatever I'm passing here I'm just passing here so that I can able to print and see what it has the content and finally I'm writing it to a file and uh, uh, WB is all about write as a binary file R dot content so I write it as a dot PNG file and then finally I'm closing it now let me run this code uh, so it asks for the location I'm gonna give Chennai okay so Chennai is a city in in India okay so I just give this location and it got executed okay so this is something it is getting returned for me because I am passing this in my print statement and that's the reason I'm getting this so even you copy paste this URL in a browser also you will get this image but now we are storing it to a file right so let's see that image file yeah you can able to see here that a dot PNG file and it says Chennai right so yeah so this is Chennai so you can give any uh, place uh, here and if you can run it so it's all about uh, the static map which gives you the, uh, the this the famous city map only not the places that you can achieve it by a google play a google place uh, map service so maybe like in the next video i can show you so we have some uh, many services um, in the maps google provides static map and then places map and many other stuff so google map uh, it provides a very awesome service for uh, the customers because if you see any app a food booking app or a cab booking app like ola uber uh, and then we have some famous food booking app in india like swiggy and zometo and uber eats so all these uh, people are using google map as a location service because we can't able to create our own individual location service we don't each the, the startup doesn't have any satellite services right so so google provides that so you can be able to see in ola uber uh, in the map you can able to see somewhere the watermark says google map okay so it's not like uber map it's google map actually so they have uh, availed the service and then they are paying for the service what they are using it and and it's like something like uh, the uh, map as a service location as a service i can say simple in google cloud they provide so this is just a kick sort and demo i can show you but going forward i can show you like how uber make use of the maps um, right so something like that we can see and thanks for watching a2z knowledge.com if you really like this video subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues we provide videos in many languages and many technologies not only python and we have so many other videos and we provide in two languages english and tamil so thanks for watching a2z knowledge.com do subscribe my channel thank you